Attack on Titan, 10 anime characters Eren would be friends with. Attack on Titan's anti-heroic lead Eren can be hard to get along with, but he'd easily befriend characters across anime series who share his values. Eren Yeager was the main protagonist of the Attack on Titan series. He's immediately distinguishable from other anime heroes due to his high aggression and insatiable desire for both vengeance and freedom. Even many of the battle-hardened scouts were unsettled by his pugnacity. Given his brutal tendencies, it might seem as if there are few anime characters who he'd make friends with. However, through analyzing shared values and personality characteristics, we gain a better understanding of comrades Eren would make if given the opportunity to meet characters across diverse anime worlds. Warning, this list will contain manga spoilers. 10. Bakugo shares Eren's enthusiasm about fighting and getting stronger My Hero Academia. Bakugo and Eren have many qualities in common, both young men adore fighting and view combat as a vehicle to achieve their dreams. For the hot-headed hero in training, it means becoming the best and surpassing the competition. Eren simply wants to eradicate those who would do him harm. Both characters are particularly brutal and it comes to dealing with enemies. They would find each other's mercilessness agreeable and swiftly become comrades. 9. Luffy shares Eren's desire for freedom one piece. Monkey D. Luffy may have a dramatically different personality than Eren, but they would still be compatible friends. Given his relationship with Zoro and Trafalgar Law. The Straw Hat Captain clearly has no qualms about making friends with people who might kill their opponents. Further, both characters place an immense value on freedom and make it their primary aspiration. However, Eren is more willing to sacrifice the innocent in order to procure his safety than his seafaring counterpart. As long as there isn't an abundance of enemies nearby, he would get along with Luffy well. 8. Palnareff is a swordsman driven by revenge and devotion to his comrades Jojo's bizarre adventure. While Palnareff may carry himself with too much buoyancy for Eren's liking, they would still be close friends due to the many qualities they have in common. Both characters are driven both by revenge and a desire to keep their comrades safe. Moreover, they have demonstrated excessive recklessness when consumed by their emotions. This was proven through Palnareff's harrowing first encounter with Jay, Guile and Eren's defeat at the hands of Annie Leonhardt. The two would get along, but their daring personalities may put them at unnecessary risk. 7. Gon can become frightening when angered and places value on personal freedom hunter x hunter. Like his father, Gon places a high value on personal freedom. This partially explains his wanderlust and willingness to partake in the hunter exam despite his young age and the serious threats it may incur. As a result, there is an immediate potential foundation for friendship between him and Eren. Additionally, both young men are frightening when angered. Gon was willing to throw his life away in order to kill Neferpetu. And Eren charged headlong into the colossal titan despite how outclassed he was. These similarities would spark an immediate and lasting friendship. 6. Now Fumi and Eren share a similarly brusque disposition the rising of the shield hero. Eren and Nao Fumi may have drastically different goals, but their dispositions are similar enough to make them close comrades. Both are mavericks with a heart of gold who sometimes struggle to control their power, whether as the attack titan or when harnessing the rage shield. Moreover, both characters are comfortable with defying authority and they feel that they're being treated unfairly. Similarly, they each played a role in the deposition of a king. 5. Kagura only wanted to emancipate herself from Neraku in Yuyasha. Kagura may have been one of Neraku's strongest henchmen, but in the end, she sought to betray him for the sake of her own freedom. Eren would find such a motive relatable, as he often felt as if his liberty was constantly being threatened by the powers that be. 
Both Aaron and Kagura have prickly dispositions and are willing to put aside their personal feelings for what they believe to be in their best interest. As a result, they would be unexpected, though compatible, friends. Four, Akame's personality strongly resembles Mikasa's Akame G.A. Kill. Akame would get along with Eren for how well she resembles Mikasa. Both women are fiercely protective of their partners. Loyal to their friends and grounded by an uncompromising moral bedrock. Additionally, they are laconic and often hang in the background as more aggressively conversational individuals like Eren take center stage. Ake might even be willing to condone Aaron's later barbarism, given the actions Night Raid committed that she was willing to justify in the name of a good cause. 3. Greed and Aaron are both rogues who put friends first Full Metal Alchemist. Aaron and the homunculus Greed have many similarities that entail a strong friendship. Both characters are daring antiheroes who defy the establishment and attempt to put their friends first even at the expense of the innocent. Moreover, they both have hardening abilities, were directly responsible for the deaths of their fathers, and gave their lives for a cause they thought would be in the best interest of those they cared for. Shortly after the two met, they would become as thick as thieves. 2. Sasuke Uchiha would respect Eren's strength and drive to find answers Naruto. Sasuke Uchiha may not share Eren's love of freedom, as proven by his willingness to subject himself to Orochimaru and desire to enslave the entire world. But he has other qualities that suggest they may become good friends. Not only were both boys initially fueled by vengeance, they have an insatiable desire to seek the truth and will place themselves in mortal peril to get it. Sasuke confronted who he believed to be Madara, and Eren fought the warriors in the second battle for Shiganshina so that he could return to the cellar. 1. Mikasa was Eren's lifelong friend and companion attack on Titan. Mikasa Ackerman was Eren's closest friend and companion. They'd been extremely devoted to each other since childhood and only grew apart after Eren expressed his intentions to unleash the rumbling. In a worst-case scenario, he didn't want her to be held accountable for his actions or for others to hate her. It was for this reason that Mikasa struggled the most when pressed about whether or not she was willing to take Eren's life. Nonetheless, she finally put him down after 80% of humanity had been exterminated near the rumbling's completion. <laughs>